Mm. I love pancakes. I just I love, 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 love pancakes. However, I'm trying my best to be gluten free. All right, so because of that, because of the fact that I love pancakes and I'm gluten free, I had to come up with a solution so that I could eat pancakes at home. And because I'm the only one that eats them, I had to come up with a recipe for one. My base, I decided I wanted to be oat flour with a little bit of millet flour. It took a lot of experimenting, but I figured out that six tablespoons of oat flour and two tablespoons of millet flour worked best for my tastes. So what I do is six tablespoons, and I know that I could figure out the how many actual cups it would take, but this is just easiest for me. Wait, that's a half a... It helps if I get the right size measurement. All right, let's try this one, this tablespoon. So I do six tablespoons, and it doesn't have to be precise. Six tablespoons of oat flour. And two tablespoons millet flour. I do not buy my oat and millet flour. I actually mill my own. So I use a wonder mill to, to grind my own flour out of grain. Um, it worked for me. It was easier than going to a bigger city to purchase the flowers that I need and only grind what I need as I need it. Um, so there you have it. So first I put in the six tablespoons of oat flour and then two tablespoons of millet flour and I give it a good stir. I apologize for the sun. That's what happens. I mean, it's been a little while since we've seen the sun. But apparently the sun still exists. All right. So after I do that, I add some salt. Now, I could be precise with my salt, but... I'm not really all that worried about it so I just I look and I don't know whatever that is so for my salt I use less than a quarter of a teaspoon it really varies because I put it in my hand but it's if you need to use measuring utensils, then use a quarter of a teaspoon, but probably a little less than that. All right, so I've got now I've got four items in my bowl: the oat flour, the millet flour, the salt, and I use sea salt, but you can use anything I think, and the baking powder. And I use aluminum free baking powder. All right, so now I have all my dry ingredients together and I'm going to get what makes it stick together. I need an egg. An extra large egg is what I use. First, I just, I mix this, these together. I mix the dry ingredients with the eggs. Doesn't take too long.
but it's not going to be the liquid that you need for the pancakes to turn into a pancake. You're going to need more. I also like to add a little sweetener and I can use honey so I use honey. I think you could use any liquid sweetener that you want but I prefer honey so I just do a little bit it's not even a tablespoon it's probably a half a tablespoon of honey but I don't measure it so I really don't know I just know what looks right in my bowl so at this point you've got a big blob Alright, so the next thing I do is obviously it's not going to make a pancake this thick so I need to add a little bit of water. I've got a quarter cup of water here but I'm not going to use it all at one time. I'm going to put in a little bit, maybe half, a little less than half and mix it around and get it to more pancake, pancakey consistency. Alright, once it's once all that water is mixed in, I go ahead and put a little more in, but I leave a little bit still in the measuring cup because I never need a full quarter cup. Alright, I like the way that consistency is, so we're going to run with it. Let's see. See, it's... Alright, now I'm going to turn on my griddle, and I've got a Presto griddle. Um, I'm turning on 250, and I'm going to let it warm up while that just sits there. Alright, how do I know when the griddle is ready? Well, some of that water that I've got left over, I just flick a little water and it's not ready yet. So I wait and wait and wait. It's almost ready. Uh, you know what? I'm going to call her ready. So, my next step is to put my pancakes on the griddle. For me, I have found that I prefer to put my pancakes in the back left corner and see I don't fill up the scoop all the way but put it in the back left corner back right corner and then I like to put it in the front right corner Hmm, front left corner. All right, and then I wait. Let's see if I can get you a better view of the pancakes. As you see, it's bubbling a little bit, and I'll wait for them to bubble. 
The back one's bubbling pretty good, but I'm going to give it another minute. Before I flip it. And look at that. Pancakes. It's actually a little dunner than I like them, but I didn't want to have a flub and have them not work out. Alright, I'm thinking them just like this. Let's see. It's got a good texture on the inside. Um, they are yummy by themselves, but if I want a little sweetener, I just add a little honey to it. Not a lot. I mean, you don't need a lot. In fact, that's probably more than I usually put on them. But there you have it. That's how I make my pancakes. I do not buy my millet and oat flour. Huh? Huh? Ah. 